State laws are changing in part thanks to a East Texas family currently right now. No data at all. I can't believe this on how many people killed on roadways by loose trailers or failed safety chains. Yeah, KTK's Tori Bean details the bills looking to make towing safer. Tori. Neil Casey, we brought you the story of the Hall family in May 2021. Their loved one was killed by an unsecured food trailer that came unhitched, hitting her vehicle head on. Fast forward two years and they are a big part of why new laws are being put in place. Kelly Hall was traveling down toll 49 in March 2021 when she was struck head on, killing her. It was a result of a trailer that had been hooked up improperly to a vehicle. Her husband, Dr. Cliff Hall, visited with lawyers for months after her death, only to find out there wasn't a lot of law concerning towing trailers safely. Subsequently, what I found out, or actually he found out, was that um, they don't even track deaths by trailer accidents in Texas. His wife's death was the second in the family that involved a load not being securely hitched to a vehicle. Her brother was killed the same way. That's when Dr. Hall reached out to Longview State Representative Jay Dean and asked for his help. We knew that uh, there need to be more awareness about trailer safety, and so they proposed some legislation requiring um, public service announcements to be funded. Along with House Bill 1198, requiring campaigns on how to properly attach trailers, House Bill 1199 proposed wrecks involving trailers would be marked on reports. Representative Jay Dean sent us a statement in regards to House Bills 1198 and 1199. He says the family worked with him to develop both bills. He adds he only wishes there was more that could be done to comfort the Hall family. I stress to them that this is painful for our family and that we don't want other families to have to go through this if possible. Um, and so I, I hope that's what they heard. On May 21st, both passed the House and Senate. Now they're headed to Governor Greg Abbott's desk for his signature. It's bittersweet and I know she would be extremely pleased. The Hall family is grateful for all Representative Dean has done for them and says it's little wins like this that keeps them going every day. Now the Hall family hopes this is just the start of making towing trailers safer. Eventually they're hoping the state will require driver's ed courses to teach proper attachment. In studio, Tori Bean, K2K News.